FNSS is showcasing its defense innovations for the first time at Spain's premier military exhibition, FANDEF, taking place in Madrid from May 12 to 14, 2025. Among the company's highlights is the debut appearance of the PARS 3 6x6 armored vehicle and the conceptual unveiling of the PARS Alpha 6x6, a next-gen reconnaissance and fire support platform developed specifically for Turkey's land forces. This concept vehicle is equipped with the Cockerill 3030, a two-man turret system from John Cockerill Defense's Series 3000 family. Designed for both surveillance and heavy combat support, the PARS Alpha 6x6 carries a team of six, including three crew and three troops. FNSS's PARS series comprises a variety of 4x4, 6x6, and 8x8 armored configurations deployed in several global militaries. The 6x6 models have notably been supplied to Oman's Royal Army. In Turkey, FNSS maintains its unique status as the sole provider of 6x6 wheeled armored vehicles for national forces, now expanding that footprint with the PARS Alpha, selected after rigorous testing under the Turkish Land Forces New Generation Vehicles Program. Two mission-specific versions of this platform will be delivered under current contracts, reinforcing FNSS's exclusive role in this segment. Designed to function in diverse environments and hostile terrains, the PARS Alpha 6x6 boasts a highly mobile chassis with all-wheel drive and front-rear axle steering. It utilizes a hydropneumatic suspension system that enables real-time height adjustment. This configuration allows the vehicle to scale steep inclines up to 70%, maneuver across 40% side slopes, cross trenches up to 1.5 meters wide, and climb vertical obstacles up to 0.8 meters. With a top speed exceeding 115 km per hour and an operational range of over 800 km, it offers unmatched endurance and agility. Furthermore, it's engineered for air transport aboard major strategic lift aircraft such as the A400M, C-17, C-5, and 124, and IL-76. In terms of survivability, the PARS Alpha prioritizes crew protection. The driver and commander are positioned behind the front axle and engine bay to reduce vulnerability to blasts and frontal attacks. Ground clearance can exceed 60 cm for enhanced underbody protection. A wide range of defensive technologies, such as laser warning receivers, gunfire detectors, and active protection systems, can be integrated as needed. For chemical and biological threat environments, the cabin includes CBR and overpressure systems and protective masks. The internal configuration marks a significant evolution from standard layouts. By placing the commander next to the driver behind the engine block, the design improves direct visibility and allows for tighter coordination. Both crew and dismounted troops benefit from a 360-degree awareness system incorporating thermal and optical sensors. Hatches remain closed during operations without compromising situational clarity. The platform is modular and supports a broad range of turret systems, both manned and remote controlled, with calibers ranging from 20mm to 90mm and options for anti-tank guided missiles. The featured Cockerill 3030 turret is part of a widely deployed modular turret line suited for both wheeled and tracked vehicles. It mounts a 30mm MK44S or XM813 chain gun with dual-feed ammo storage for up to 255 rounds of 30 by 173 mm shells, including programmable 310 Malawian Quachas airburst munitions. Additionally, it can be adapted to house the 50mm XM913 cannon with limited redesign. Secondary weaponry options include a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and external mounts for 12.7mm machine guns or 40mm grenade launchers. Its advanced optics provide hunter-slash-killer capability via dual-stabilized sights for both gunner and commander, offering target identification at up to 5km in daylight and 3.5km at night. The turret is rated for Stanag 4569 Level 5 protection and includes eight smoke dischargers along with integrated threat detection and soft-slash-hard kill systems. The Cockerill 3030 has seen extensive testing within U.S. Army development programs. Notably, in 2015, it was selected for the medium-caliber armament system initiative under ACRADA with the U.S. Army DEVCOM.
The turret underwent over 5,000 rounds of testing with XM813 and programmable munitions, feeding critical fire control data into future design pathways. Current enhancements also aim at integrating the 50mm system more fully. The turret's architecture supports optional manning with internal access for repairs or evacuation and offers flexible upgrade paths for fire control and lethality improvements. This positions the PARS Alpha 6x6 as a formidable and future-proof solution for modern battlefield demands.